So today we're looking at backswing length. And quite often on the lesson tee, I will see golfers that will have too long a backswing, generally because they lose their structure. So I'm gonna share with you today a way of practicing that's gonna give you that kind of barometer, that guide to get the right backswing length every time. And also it has some other nice knock-on effects in, in the backswing too, and also the downswing to help your golf. So it's one nice simple practice drill that you can do, you can do in the garden or in the driving range to help get the right calibration to your swing repeatedly and consistently. Keep watching to learn how. Lots of golfers tend to get a really long swing where their arms travel too far. Sometimes that happens because the body's not turning in the right sequence in relation to the arms. So sometimes what will happen is the body turns early, then stops and the arms carry on. Or sometimes it happens as the arms go a long way without the body moving. And then basically as the body starts to move, the arms continue on. You don't get the kind of right breaking or stopping into the transition correctly. So this drill will help calibrate all these things and give you that definite kind of position feel to know that you're in the right place every single time and consistently. So this is a pretty simple drill. It's not so simple to do as in some people will find it hard for sure, but we're just going to use an alignment rod. I'm going to place the alignment rod under armpit and have it sticking out. Now a lot of people when they start this get worried about this sticking in their eye or doing anything else. Now unless you've got a really 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 funky golf swing there's no way this is going to hit your head at all. What we're after, obviously, is the pressure on our right arm, our trail arm, to, against our pecs to keep it in place. But realistically, what we're looking for when we do this is the feeling that at the top of the backswing would finish when our lead arm just nudges that stick. So this also helps the trail arm fold down. If you get someone that gets the trail arm that doesn't fold correctly in the backswing, it also can help. The feeling of, again, getting that connection and shallowing on the way down. Again, you want to keep this stick quite high in the downswing. If you're looking to shallow the club, if you wanted to steepen the club, you'd want it to point more down. And on the through swing, it helps get the arms going more left and take the hands out of play. So it'll do all these things for us. Essentially, with this video, we're really looking at a calibration to get the length of the swing correct. So, I so said with a lot of golfers, what I tend to see is this kind of move. So the arms will run past that stick can move that stick quite high in the backswing. We don't want that. We want it basically when your lead arm hits a stick, you start to think about, okay, I'm going to come down. Now there's always going to be a slight run on, so it'll go slightly higher than when you make first contact. But we're looking at the first contact to be the initiation to your brain to tell you to go down and through. Let's go ahead and hit one. So it definitely felt different. It felt a little bit restrictive. Um, it definitely felt a little bit sort of more connected, which is exactly what I wanted to feel. Again, this has got to be purposeful for the person. So if the person has too long a swing, this is an ideal drill. If you find you have different length strings, swings all the time, this again is a perfect drill to give you that calibration. If you want to use it for things we talked about in the downswing and through swing, again, it'll help those things. If you're looking for one drill that does lots of things, Again, this is pretty good. It helps a lot of good things in the golf swing. Certainly, if you were hitting like pitch shots, again, it's a good drill to do to feel that right arm connection. So there's lots of ways of using this drill to help benefit your golf. Hope you've enjoyed that look at the length of the swing and calibration. If you did, please click like and share the video. It really helps if you can do that. Also, please post questions and comments down below. And tell me a bit about your golf, the areas of your game that you need help. And again, I'll try and get some videos back as soon as I can in those subject areas to help you more personally. So also, if you haven't followed or subscribed, please hit my load down this bottom corner and hit the bell icon. That gives you the notifications to tell you when I release a video. Again, it's all for free. Also, just lastly, thank you for joining me today at the Forest of Arden. Hope to see you back here real soon. In the meantime, stay safe and enjoy your golf.